Hey, what's happening, everybody? Uh, we are coming at you live with breaking news. I feel like a sportscaster. Breaking news, the Orville. It looks like the Orville is going to be hitting its final season, unfortunately. And we have, uh, I guess, double confirmation because we have both Adrian Palicki and Scott Grimes um, saying so in uh, two separate podcasts that this season three will be the final season of the order sorry yeah me. this is uh this is pretty pretty crazy news and um yeah, i don't know what's going on here with my life this is um it looks like i tell you it looks like i got like a like a five o'clock drink going on here my face is all <laughs> we, we <laughs> rushed going? into this and my computer wasn't on nothing was happening shane's trying to figure out his camera but we're here yeah. we are here and you know it's funny because there was a little bit back and forth with uh with jp uh, cause he was like, he was trying to get us a, a story out and he, I guess he filmed something and his camera didn't work. So w everybody's having some issues here. And, uh, I've been on Twitter kind of going back and forth. Uh, so the way this story broke down, so, <clears throat> I mean, this is, this is really sad news. Um, but we might have some information on why this news could potentially change. What's really interesting about this is that, um, Adrian Palicki, went on a podcast back on October 5th, which was nine days ago. Right. And uh, what's crazy about it is, I don't know, I don't know how the news didn't get out sooner. It's, it almost seems crazy that it didn't get out sooner. It was on like some Friday night lights podcast. Right. And, uh, and basically she says, you know, this is the final season of the Orville. And she says it in such a way that she sounds almost apologetic. It's not like, She's guessing or she says it with authority. And I think we're going to use that, you know, we're going to share that clip with, with people right. here. Tonight, right. Uh, but she says it in a way that's like, yeah, the clear eyes, full hearts podcast came out of the blue. Um, and I, I just don't know when we've all been wondering, is this going to be the last season or not? You know, we know that Hulu wanted a season four, uh, but that was not happening i have some theories on why i think we might not be getting a season four but it sounds to me anybody who says you know oh well maybe maybe she's misspoke i don't think that's the case um especially going back scott grimes said back in may may 20 28th um that there was going to be a uh that basically this was probably the final season maybe there'll be some movies that's what he said right um, and then Adrian coming out now saying this is this is the last season. And she talks about how the, you know, the whole cast and crew is so close and it's kind of a sad thing. I want to give a shout out really quick uh, to a couple of people who helped us get this information, who brought it to our attention. Um, really important here. Uh, Timo Hoffman brought it up, actually was reaching out to Tom Constantino because, you know, he's heartbroken over it. And, and also got some really great information from. Um, Make sure I get this right from uh, the Orville 247, who gave us the information on Scott Grimes' podcast. Cool. So, yeah, do you want to share the clip and we can maybe yeah. talk about it? Let's share the Scott Grimes one first because that, was, that came out chronologically earlier. And then we'll that share. That was it. May 28th of, of this year. Okay. Well, here we go. But it's been tough, you know, for everybody, for everybody in the industry. Uh, it's been tough, but we we found a rhythm again. I think, I think we'll see. Now, when now now when do you guys when do you guys uh, come back again? Now you guys switch. You switch. You were on Fox for a couple of years. Yeah. Now you guys have switched and over Hulu. to Hulu. Yeah. Uh, and when does when does when are we when are we to expect it? When's everybody out there to expect it? I was going to ask you. Um, no, what what it he what he does, Seth, is we have to finish filming before he really even starts editing. Yep. So, so sometime in stuff. 2025, we're going to see the third season by, of Orville. I would, say, yeah. I would say by Christmas. Yeah. I'd say it's a Christmas release for season three because we're going to be done in July. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I would say keep your fingers crossed for Christmas. And it's going to most likely the last season because we're kind of wrapping it up. And then hopefully maybe we'll do some movies. That's my wish and his wish. Oh, that's great. Uh, All right. That's uh, Scott Grimes. Hey, maybe we'll get some movies. That's That would be great. That's from the Randy Disher podcast, All Things Monk and More. Uh, doesn't put out a ton of a ton of shows, so I think that's why it's a little bit. I don't think it's a lot of people are totally aware of it or or, or totally familiar with it. 
Um, is that Randy Disher, the guy from Monk? Yeah, it is. Awesome. I, yeah, I, he's got his own show. New podcast I got to listen to. Yeah, he, he's got some interesting stuff. And that interview with Scott was interesting. It actually tells the history, you know, uh, you know, kind of how he got together with Seth for the Orville and, and kind of how all that went down. Um, but even, you know, so that was one thing, you know, you could almost take that and go, okay, well, you know, this might be the last season. That doesn't sound very good, but hey, maybe there's a couple movies. But then on October 5th, when we get this Adrian Palicki clip, um, that to me is pretty definitive. And, yeah. Uh, you ready to listen to it? Yeah, let's play that one real quick so people can hear it. All right. Get your get your Kleenex, everybody. I know uh, you just wrapped on the third season of Orville. Is there anything you can tell us about it at the moment? No, it's like, it's honestly, it's so secretive considering that it takes seven years for it to come out. <laughs> to film and then to actually come out. Like, it's not going to be out until 2022. And it is our oh, final wow. season. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So well, that's kind of an end of an era. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll miss everyone. That was actually, that was definitely a family for sure. We spent yeah. so much time together on that ship. Yeah. That, <laughs> thank God we loved each other. All right. So Palicki, thank you. Thank you so much. for. All right. That's it. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously that you can hear in the tone of her voice and kind of the definitiveness of what she's saying. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of room for ambiguity or, or a different meaning. I don't think so. Uh, right now it's really hard to confirm anything with anybody associated to the show because uh, they're going through their own problem with the, um, with the strike that's actually going to start Monday. If something doesn't, 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 um, doesn't come through the IATSE strike, which, you know, everybody involved when in producing the show they're trying to get paid more they deserve to be paid more um and you know we support them but it's it's creating in this situation where this news is like really starting to to come out now everybody's going to be talking about it and, and a lot of people are going to be really disappointed we really can't get feedback from from tom and a lot of the people i'm sure that at the appropriate time uh they're going to come back out to us and um it may be that nobody says anything to be honest with you because you know there's always time for things to change so getting this news is, is horrible news for us orville fans i would argue brian that of all of seth mcfarland's content and you know people love family guy people love american dad people love a lot of his movies and things he's done but orville fans are passionate passionate dedicated loyalists who have clung to a show uh, kind of running away from current Star Trek in order to embrace something that feels more familiar and is, and is a really good show. And uh, so I think the fan base is a lot more animated, active, excited. Um, and the interactions we've had with, with Tom Constantino and, and, and a lot of the other people with the show have, have really um, created this wonderful bond between fans and and the crew and the show. And so it makes it even, even more sad. Uh, but going forward, I'll be really honest with you. I'm, in a second, Brian and I are going to give you a couple of reasons why we think this may be the final season um, associated with Seth, but also why that could change. If you notice, Seth MacFarlane hasn't come out and said, this is the final season. There's been no final word to come out to say, this is the final season. When the Orville comes out, um, in February and if it comes out and it work and it goes gangbusters um, I would not put it past anybody to apply enough pressure uh, to Seth to the actors float enough cash that they might want to continue making the Orville if it if it's just like a huge show yeah if it's a, if it's huge then absolutely right we know that that Hulu wants a season four. When they put it out, they said, hey, whoa, we'd like a season four too. But Seth put the brakes on it, right? Um, why did he do that? Why would Seth not want to continue making the Orville? We don't know Seth, you know, personally, obviously. We are having personal conversations with him about this. But we can guess a few things. Number one, he has this uh, new contract with, 
with N- with uh, with NBC. Right. Two hundred million dollar deal with NBC. Um, he's been with Fox for for a decade for a long time now. Also, Seth has been extraordinarily vocal about his hate and discontent with Fox News. And there is a whole lot of stuff coming out where Seth said things like he regrets that uh, that he continued Family Guy with Fox. Oh, um, yeah, there are some things coming out that it may be possible. Listen, guys, this is just a guess based on reading stuff that's come out. Things, little things that Seth said. Um, he he does not like Fox News, and I think through that extension, he's also extending that potentially to Fox as a network because making the comment that he, that he wishes he hadn't continued um, family guy on Fox and then hearing, you know, uh, the people at Fox say, well, family guy is going to be with us forever, you know, and, and knowing how strongly Seth feels about Fox news, I wouldn't see him saying, you know what? I don't want the Orville to be on Hulu, you know, personally, I'm not saying this is official, but maybe he's going through, look, I'm not having a problem with Fox right now. I'm not happy with their politics or their, the way they look at the world. Uh, I have this great deal with NBC. Uh, maybe I don't want Hulu, which is owned by Fox and Disney, to continue with my stuff. Maybe I don't want to continue making stuff with them, right? And maybe you can't have those conversations until the show airs and runs and until there are more conversations, but on the inside, perhaps Seth and Adrian and the actors and the crew have talked about the fact that this is probably likely going to be their final season. They have to, they have to treat it like it's going to be the final season, especially if they don't want to move forward. Now, that's one way of looking at it. Potentially, another way of looking at it is Seth just wants to move on with his, with his NBC life and do new things. That's yeah. a possibility. Peacock contract. Right. He's got a big contract. He's got a lot of stuff. Now, could Seth take the Orville to Peacock. Yeah. Seth, Seth's fuzzy door owns the Orville. Um, Once contracts are all, you know, negotiated and everything's done, he can ultimately do what he wants to do. Does NBC want that? I don't know. It depends on, you know, the only thing we can do as fans here, Brian is uh, come into season three with a full head of steam and give it as much love, attention and support as humanly possible and kind of hope for the best. What do you think? Yeah, um, you know, if we uh, if we just uh, if we support it and we're we're all there and we're we're um, we're watching and it's popular, then that's going to put a whole lot of pressure on uh, on Seth because he's going to want them to back that money truck up, you know. Um, but you're right; he might just want to leave uh, Fox and Hulu. And if that's the case, then again, if we support it and it's and it's an amazing season, and it goes gangbusters, then NBC is going to be like, yo, Seth, what about that property you have? What are you doing with it? You you know, you want to bring it over here? Because NBC Peacock is, you know, hungry for content. Oh, big time. So, yeah, it, it it's possible that this, this might just be the final season on Hulu. Um, it doesn't mean it's the final season ever. Um but it's well, possible. It is possible. It is a final season ever. Yeah. You know? I mean, from, from the actor's standpoint, uh, let's go ahead and say just from, I mean, listen, you know, do we trust what Adrian says? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think you can listen to her tone. I mean, she sounded like a person who thought this was the last season of the Oracle. Right. I mean, right or wrong. What do you think? Right. Well, yeah, that's because, you know, it's still at Hulu. Uh, so when they, you know, they can't, they can't talk about going to NBC while it's about to play on in Hulu. Right. So, you know, it's possible at the end of of its run on Hulu, um, <clears throat> and when that contract's up, whenever that is, and who knows, that could be five years. I don't, we don't know, you know, True. but you know, it could be five years later. You know, they now NBC announces, you know, season five of the Orville. It this 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 wouldn't be the first time it's happened. This, uh, plenty of times, network has picked up shows after the fact. Um, yeah, Supergirl was picked up by the CW when it was canceled on CBS. Yeah. So. But don't you think that she would have been a little more ambiguous about the comment saying something like, well, this is probably the last season or, you know, we'll have to see what happens. It's most likely the last season. Don't you think the, there would have been more words like that as opposed to. Well, I, yeah. I just don't think she's she's not a future. You know, she's not a, a psychic. Or she's not, she can't see the future. So 
I think that from her perspective, it's the final season. But in in three years, when the contract's up and they're asking Seth to bring the Orville to NBC, that might completely change. So, see, okay, so you're talking about the possibility that, you know, maybe we don't make any more. And then at some point later on, you know, he decides he wants to bring it back. The actors maybe move on to different things. We know that, you know, Adrian's done a lot of different things. Oh, man, I just watched G.I. Joe. Adrian Plicky was in G.I. Joe. I didn't even yeah. know that. She's doing quite a bit of stuff. Um, yeah, hard worker. She's she's been in a lot of things, and um, and and so she probably wants to continue doing things. And frankly speaking, I'm not sure. You know, all of these characters are part of the show. They're such a deep part of the show that losing her would be like losing, you know, one of the support beams on a house. I think. Right. Um, that would be very hard to do. And um, you know, we love Seth, um, but he is he is definitely an ensemble actor. Um, he's not carrying the show by himself. Right. Um, so, you know, we have to hope that, you know, if you're right, let's say this is the final season and, and we get, you know, something great that at some point, hopefully, you know, the fact that Scott, this gives me hope. The fact that Scott Grimes says, maybe we'll do some movies tells me that I don't think in Seth's heart, he's done with the Orville. You know what I mean? It makes it sound like he still wants to do something that, but perhaps his, you know, his, the situation he's in, in the real world with his, what he's doing and his, and his, you know, his contracts and, and where he's going and legal issues would keep him from continue making it until maybe what you said at a later point when, you know, when it's free and we don't know what that is. Uh, we don't know what the, what the deal is. He might, it might just be this season, you know, this might, it might be a one-year deal. Yeah. You know, so we'll have to look more into that and see if we can find more about it. Well, uh, either way, stay tuned, you know, hit that subscribe and that like, because we're going to bring you all that news as it comes up. And we have a, a brand new uh, Orville uh, theory, video, theory, video, theory video coming up, um, I think this week. So, yeah, we're definitely and, and we're going to be doing we're going to be going deeper into this. So stay tuned. We're going to be maybe maybe doing a video that talks about why. You know, yeah. and going into all those yeah. theories and and, and deep stuff. diving with all of our 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 deep contacts. But but let me just say one thing here, and this is this is a, this is directly to the crew of the Orville, the people, the the producers, the editors, the the people who do the makeup, the people who do the special effects, all the people who who we've been you know become semi friends with over these years. They're, these people are are the ones that are really going to be impacted by this the most. They have put everything into this show. And of course you want, if you're working on a show, you want it to go as far as possible. And I'm sure they're all good people. They do amazing work. They're going to go on and do amazing things uh, in other things, but just want to say, you know, if this is the final season, thank you to you guys for making the show so wonderful and giving us this great camaraderie between the fan community. Yeah. Really been appreciated. Yes, it has. With that, uh, we'll, we, we will see you uh, very, very soon, you know, probably tomorrow. So stick around, and I'm going to play this very fitting, this is the end, if I can get it to work. Oh, there it goes. Uh, I'm going to play that as we play the outro. See you guys later. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. To see the full conversation, become a member of the podcast family. Use the link in the description below or go to our channel and click the join button. Select your tier and we'll see you at the next show.